Hey everybody and welcome to this survival difficulty stream through a Fallout 4. This is gonna be a long one. It's gonna be kind of probably good background noise if you want to watch the playlist. Earlier today I just finished recording the last episode of my playthrough of Fallout 4 where I just beat the story. Um, I will not spoil what the ending was. All I will say is that it was a fucking terrible ending. I had numerous glitches through the game. Really bad ones. The plot was nonsensical in a thousand different ways. I was wholly disappointed with the ending I got. I'm fairly sure there are quite a few endings, uh, judging by the one I got. And I thought, you know what, fuck it, I have time left today. I'll, I'll host a stream. I want to do survival mode. Very hard mode was not terribly hard. Survival is an enormous jump up. So, for anyone who doesn't know, I I'm gonna... I'm not sure when in the process it actually lets me do survival, but we're gonna skip, like, cutscene stuff at the beginning, because I'm gonna assume you've already played a little bit of Fallout 4, or you've watched my other playthrough link in the description. So... Oh, man. So, on survival mode, you eat and you drink, uh, and you have to sleep, which is cool, I like that, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you can only save by sleeping in a bed, which is brutal, and I love it. Uh, can we skip this? Damn it. Um, never changes. so lame. I hate this intro. Um, Absolutely. right, uh, you can only save by sleeping in a bed. There's no fast travel. So basically, you, you very rarely get to save. Uh, you take away more damage, but you also deal more damage. And the more people you kill in a day, up to 50, the more damage you do with up to a 50% damage bonus per attack. But sleeping resets it, so, you know, the longer you go without saving, and the more you kill, the more damage you do. So it's that trade-off of, oh, do I save? But, oh, I get weaker if I do that. Alright, so my character's an absolute dink, and I hate the plot of this game, and everything makes me want to die. Um, I'm gonna... You know, I could make him, like, look like me, but at the same time... I don't want this dink representing me. Nice haircut. So Let's, so that's my hair. Yeah, can I do... Can I do facial hair? I hate this system. Just give me a fucking menu. It's under... Is it under extras? E? No. <laughs> Jesus. Why does sleeping make you weaker? It makes you lose your adrenaline rush. Can I, like... T for type, is that it? Yeah, not bad. No. God! Go female character for a change? I'm not interested. Mouth full type? Mm. No. I do love those lips. Yes. Ugh. I'll put a time code for when shit starts on YouTube. I hate this so much. Oh my god. Can we keep character creation to a minimum so you can watch at least 30 seconds of gameplay? I- I- I'm- this is the character I gotta see for the entire cut- for every cutscene of the game. I at least want to give him a fucking beard. Are you kidding me? Uh, How? How? I used to know how to do this! Oh, if facial hair popped up for a second there, it's on chin. Oh, didn't you know facial hair is only on your chin, not the rest of your face? Good lord. Alright, what's the biggest beard you got? Not gonna lie, it's tempting. What do you think? I'll go with that. Beard or no beard? Uh, skin? What's the lightest pale? Okay, uh, I want hair color. Like That's it. a little like mine. You look younger. Eyes. No. Type? No. Color. Mine are blue, mostly. They're kind of green, too. My eyes are weird. Not bad. Not bad. And I'm gonna not go into the super details. So we'll go with the tired-looking one, and we're gonna leave it like this. I don't care about any of the facial construct- Oh wait, my eyebrows. I- I do have giant eyebrows. Can I make the eyebrows specifically black? No, not skin. Different about you. 
No, I think I think eyebrows are no matter what, same as the rest. Okay. I want thick, not I light. Pretty nice. Bushy. Nah, that. I'm happy with that. All right. That'll do. <laughs> the hair's way too short, but whatever. Oh, God, I want to skip the intro. Fuck me. In Fallout 1 and 2, you could get straight into the gameplay, and it was fun. <laughs> I can absolutely watch a playthrough with Jesus as the main character. I don't care. Do I need to read it? Whoa, that's a paper. Save me from my eternal torment! I can see him across the street there. Come talk to me. Hi. Nora. Where did you get that? You didn't get it from here! No! Fuck you, Sean. Like you! Uh, yeah, go use the buzzsaw on him. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth really good with Sean. <laughs> this is what you watch my videos for, right? This is what you come to the stream for? This? This action-packed intro? It's gotta be the slowest intro to a Fallout game. Fallout 1 and 2, you were, you were right in it. You could, you could right away do stuff. Especially Fallout 1. Fallout 3, it wasted a shitload of your time. Fallout 4, or Fallout New Vegas, rather. Uh, New Vegas, it wastes a little bit of your time with the whole aptitude test thing where, like, the doctor's checking if you're okay. But either that, once you walk out that door, you can do anything. This one. Jesus Christ, I can't even sprint through this if I want to. Good morning. I am not interested in the conversation. Really want to get to the game. Let's do the thing. Let's do the thing. Kill me now. Okay. Uh, dry bread. Okay, so I've been thinking about um, what I want to put my points into. I've been kind of mapping out. Everyone's saying S, and I don't know why. Uh, I've been mapping out, like, what talents I want early. So, here's the weird thing I came up with. Six, one, three, six, six... Five. <laughs> okay. So to do what I'm planning, and I do know about the special book, because you guys saw me get that in the beginning of Fallout 4. S so strength is six so I can get the strong back, because uh, you can't carry much in this difficulty, and being over encumbered actually hurts you. So I think I want, and also ammo weighs something in this. So I think I want a lot of strength for carry capacity and for strong back. I don't need anything in perception, so maybe later. Endurance, I need it high enough to have Life Giver, which is pretty nice, and I really don't want low endurance in general, so I'm not happy with how low it is, but I'm, it's going to be a rough start. Charisma 6, because I want to start getting the, um, I want to get workshops in, or rather, in my settlements, I want to have stores that I can buy and sell from so I can have my own medical attention stuff there, have some money coming in, so I can always make sure my gear is up to date. Six intelligence because it gets me the science perk, which allows me to start doing upgrades to power armor because I'll likely need that. Agility is five. I forget what I needed at level five agility. <laughs> and luck is one because there's nothing I need in luck. I'll probably up the things that are really bad later. Um, Bye. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's why Kill, me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill <laughs> me. Good answer. I have my moment. Fuck you, kid. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he's yeah, Lead Belly, I've heard that's a good one. You, seem to be so good at. you heard Codsworth. Go on. Yep. Yep. Playing with Sean. Fuck you, Sean. Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. All right, bye now. Oh, let me out. Let me out. Let me out of this hell world. <sighs> Think follow forest trash? Mr. Dreadbreadnutspreadshirt.com. Let me out. <laughs>
<laughs> I want to play the video game. Much better now, huh? Uh, Listen, uh, after breakfast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarcasm. Oh, I don't want to know about your sex life. <laughs> Codsworth? Yep, coming. Whoa, Codsworth. Whoa, what's happening? Let me out the door. Door, 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 door. Leave Sean. God damn it, Sean, you're not cute. That noise is me hitting the E button to open the door. Why did you grab Sean to watch the TV? All I heard was something about Castlevania. Let's go. Oh my god. We, we need to get to the mm. vault. <laughs> the door fought back! So if you dick around here long enough, you do actually die, which I think is a cool touch. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Wanna skip the opening? Well, sorry, you can't! I don't think they would say sorry, that's the problem. Let me through! I'm ex-military. We're on the list. Infant, adult male. Let me in. Okay, go ahead. Oh god, the invisible wall. I'm in. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? They're all gonna die and deserve it. Step on the platform in the center. I've done it. I'm on. Leave the baby. You can't carry that much weight. You're overburdened. Almost there. We're gonna be. Hey, Lydia. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Kill me now! Hold on! This intro's too long and it makes me hurt. Oh god, oh god, oh god! I just wanna get in the game and do survival difficulty. Wanna get in the vault? The driver dispatcher.com. Mr. Russell. Can I do the difficulty now, or is that a thing I have to do later? I don't really remember. Survival? It, it, is it staying on survival? Saving? Aha! No fast travel, saving only when you sleep, increased lethality, sickness, fatigue, and more. Uh. Okay. Is just confirming that I want to turn it on. So if I turn it off again, it doesn't let you turn it on again on that save file, which I think is cool. So you don't cheat by turning it off and on. So I can't quick save anymore, which makes me very scared of crashes. Oh, it won't let me sprint. Hi with Lydia. Nice. I'll, I'll put that in the playlist and watch it later. Thank uh, you. Bye. What now? Just follow the doctor here. Not even Show wearing it yet. All right, you three. Follow me. It's gone. Follow me, doctor. I know the way. Father down in DC. Oh, you're going to love it. Sorry, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time. I'm not allowed to sprint because it wants me to see all the dialogue, and I'd rather kill myself. Why is this room fro frozen over? Clearly they fucked something up here. Doc. Dr. Octopus. Hey, follow me. Just this way. Just this way, please. Just step into the chamber. I did it! I changed instantly. And the uniform came pre-dirtied. Why? I don't know. Before we head deeper in the vault. Just realize. Time for a whole new life. Resident a whole secure. new world. Occupant vitals. Normal. A whole new <clears throat> shitty <throat> point <throat> of view. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god. One day, this intro is going to end. <laughs> I'm going to be able to start the playthrough. Ash, 
survival playthrough, but the intro is so slow. We're on survival mode. I'm pumped to give it a try. I already did my stats. They're lopsided and hilarious. It's going to be difficult having three endurance on survival. Three endurance, one perception, one luck. You. Yeah. But I decided I want to focus on intellect and charisma to see what would happen. You hate this part of the game too? Oh god, it's so long and boring, isn't it? In Fallout 1 and 2, you got right into the action. In Fallout uh, New Vegas, they wasted your time a little bit with the doctor's house thing, but as soon as you walk out the front door, you're free to do whatever you want. Fallout 3 had a pretty brutally long intro too, but at least in that intro, you were doing shit. In this one, you're not. In this intro, you're basically doing nothing. You're just kind of sitting around and watching an on-rails movie. And occasionally you hold W to walk forwards. Occasionally they even turn off your ability to sprint. Because they don't want you to breeze through the dialogue too fast. There's no option to skip this on... On, uh, different playthroughs. It's one thing I hated about Skyrim. At least in Oblivion, after you did the intro, it always does an autosave right after you exit the sewer, right before it does the thing where, do you want to remake your character? So you can always just load back to that save if you want to start a new file and skip the intro. That was awesome. <sighs> Press F to commit suicide. It's not working. I'm reflexively hitting F5 constantly to quick save, even though quick save is disabled. Uh, entirely because I'm afraid of a crash. I really need all those wrenches. Malfunction at the junction. Come on, come at me, come at me. So apparently red roaches can give you diseases now, so I should probably be careful. Oh no, I shouldn't use terminals whenever I can avoid it, because there's that glitch where you can get stuck in terminals, and there's no saving in this without sleeping. A terminal could end my playthrough. So this is a super mega survival mode. If you die in the game, you die in real life. Why does your ad block button block the follow button? I have no idea. I'm not gonna eat rad roach Giant. meat. You know what? Roach. I'll grab it. Maybe I can sell it. What the hell? Yeah. Don't want to get your horrible diseases. I'll tip for to end your suffering. Uh, the suffering will never end. All right, we got a pistol now. Uh, and another pistol. And some pencils. Nice. Coming back later for you. <laughs> like how that's my character's priority right now. Ooh. Oh, it won't let me drink from it right now. Okay, let's just leave. I'm sure there's more stuff if I really want to search around, but, uh, oh god. Don't get me stuck, game. Open the tunnel. I don't care about your dialogue. I've already read it. Is my aim really this bad? What is wrong with me today? <laughs> Wow, I cocked that one up. Alright, well that one at least was small. <laughs> oh, that was a waste of my ammo. I'm really hurt. Oh, I forgot if you heal yourself. Wow, that's, that's healing slow. I gotta be careful about that. Uh, I forgot that uh, when you heal outside of power armor... There's actually an animation that takes time. Ooh. I'm worried about being snuck up on by a rad roach. 
Cause anything could kill me now. Where is everyone? Huh? Where, where, where? I'm good. Alright, get my pit boy so I can access my fucking inventory. You can just melee them? Oh, I didn't know I still had access to my melee weapons because I don't have an inventory yet. Oh yeah, I forgot you can melee attack while you have a gun out now. Right. I completely forgot that's a mechanic in this game. Because again, my, my previous playthrough, I was, a, I was an unarmed combat character. So I never really used that. Alright, yeah, yeah, plug it in. That's all you have to do. Oh man, I could have never gone to that button without plugging that thing in. There's no way I could have just punched it and smashed it and clicked the button. Okay. So, I want to, uh... Favorite? Yeah. One, and that can be two. Uh, thanks for following, whichever. Oh yeah, I forgot you can... Oh, never mind. It just bugged out and didn't reload the one time. Oh, that's interesting, actually. If you look down on my AP in the bottom right, my AP is actually limited by my thirst. That's pretty cool, actually. It's kind of like radiation. Uh, oh, I don't want to get crushed by the lift. Um, come on. Hey, Mandy. I'll, uh, I'll jump in the Discord call in a minute. And then, uh, you can be chat lesbian. What happened to that scientist didn't have a pit boy I would cry and eat my own feces until I died. Mandy's now an honorary American. She lives in Atlanta, Georgia. Of course she's an American. <laughs> he said my name, oh, she, oh she. I talk to my viewers all the time in like on Twitter and Discord and Steam. I don't know it's such a special thing when I say someone's name. I'm flattered. Shocked sigh. Really need the subtitles on that one. <laughs> I would eat my own feces, but driver twenty two K sixteen. Hey, in one week WW two K seventeen comes out. Cannot wait. We've found sanctuary. Now we can go find somewhere to sleep and save the game. I'll go talk to Codsworth later. Is there a bed in here? No. No. God damn it. I need to find a bed. Oh, this place is a shithole. The lost city of Atlanta. Ah, oh, Jesus! How did I not hear that before? Come on, someone's gotta have a bed that's still intact, right? If I only had a bobby pin. If I only had a bobby pin! <laughs> that's what I need to open this safe. Alright, which one was my house again? It was this one, right? Yeah, there's a special book right there. Okay, before we get that, first things first, we need toughness. Increase my damage resistance by 10, because we do not want to die. So right off that, the best thing we can immediately take is make it so we take less damage. Right after that, I'm getting Life Giver. Have 20 extra maximum health. I think those are the most important th uh, things to have early on. But we're going to get one extra free point. So what will this unlock for us? Uh, scrounger, no. Rifleman is good. We'll, we'll think about that. Um, we could get... Uh, oh, right, Action Boy, yeah, that's good. We could get Moving Target, uh, harder to... Or you have more resistance when sprinting. That's okay. Could help us get away. 
Chems last longer, don't care. Party boy, don't care. And steady aim, don't care. The most interesting thing to me here is perception. The most immediately useful thing, at least. So we're going to take a free point in perception. Alright, Codsworth, let's talk. Yep. Codsworth? Uh, I don't care. Uh, they killed her. I has been kidnapped. I feel fine. <laughs> I just really want to get into the game. Are you okay? I'm charismatic. Did my charisma work on you? Give me experience points, please. Enemies are worth extra experience points in this mode, by the way. Uh, it's to help make up for however things way fucking harder, and you're probably going to be killing less people because of it. Yeah, charisma is pretty awesome. I, uh, I had a lot of charisma in my YouTube playthrough, and it helped me a lot. Thanks for following! Sean! <laughs> Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me! Yeah. Yeah, I get it, Codsworth. Can we get through the tutorial? <laughs> Roaches? Beds? Any beds in here? Oh, there's a busted bed. No good beds in here. Where are we going, Codsworth? Float flies. Hello. Yeah, Codsworth, you do your thing. Codsworth, stop shitting the bed. Really? Uh, yeah. Yep, it's cool. Yep, yep, I, I really appreciate it. Oh god, don't tell me I gotta go to Concord without even sleeping once. What if I die? <laughs> oh, this is nerve-wracking. Chat, does anyone know if there are any beds right now that I can use in, in, um, why am I blanking on the name? In Sanctuary? Can I go use the, the Look workshop at this. now? I'm rich. It's payday, fellas. Ooh, thank God. Okay, I didn't know I could use this yet. I thought I had to do the next quest first. I just got a donation, though, from Sean. <laughs> why, why did you let me be kidnapped, Daddy? He donates one dollar. Thank you. I appreciate it, Sean. I let you be kidnapped because you're a terrible son. You're an embarrassment. Alright, scrap that. Get a sleeping bag out here. It's my bed! Alright, what we're gonna do... is sleep eight hours, uh, because this will heal us if you sleep more than seven. What's going on? What's going on? I beg to differ. I can tell you right now, I've been camping a lot of times in my life. Bingo. I've been camping a lot of times in my life. And I've been in sleeping bags a lot of times in my life. Never once have I woken up after three hours to a command prompt in real life that said you can't sleep more than three hours in a sleeping bag. Can I ask if you ever found dance? That would be a spoiler, because the whole playthrough hasn't got up yet. Alright, I'm going to jump into the call for Mandy. Let me just right here and boo. Boo. Mandy has her mic muted because she's uh -huh. an idiot. Who's an idiot? Me? Yes. Okay. Confirmed. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, so I'm just, okay, dump off the junk there. Okay. I guess I might as well just go to Concord and get that quest out of the way, so we can have a population here. Who needs a population? This is my uh, life goal. Who needs a population? Exactly. This is a really good show. Okay, you know, I should, show. should probably kill these rad roaches. Rich. 
It's payday, fellas! Like, this is the perfect kind of town for me. The kind with no one in them. Sean donates another one dollar and says, Daddy, why did you leave me? <laughs> Except for this time is his caps lock. So, uh, Mandy, in case you missed the beginning, because I don't know how much you did miss. Uh, we are so I'm rich. It's got another donation. I'll read it in a second. Um, this is... Uh, what is it? This is survival difficulty, which means the only way to save is by sleeping. Mm -hmm. So, really, really high difficulty. You take a shitload of damage. Um, so you take a shitload of damage. It's really hard to save. Uh, what else? I know there's some other really difficult stuff. You can't fast travel. What are you doing out here all by yourself? At all. Yeah, it's gonna be brutal. Uh, because I, I beat the game earlier today on the on the show, like, just in recordings, and the ending was horrendous, so I decided that I'd try to make it fun by going on this difficulty. Sounds like fun. Okay, also, fun. another thing is, uh, when you get a companion, you need to give them stim packs when they fall down, or else they just don't get back up and they'll teleport back to your home base eventually. So you can't Good. bank on them to beat your bullet shield so much, um, which means I might actually end up taking the perk... That dog meat, what are you doing? Uh, I might take the perk that makes it so uh, I get huge amounts of damage resistance when I have no companion. <laughs> Not entirely sure. Does that want to waste my heals on them? Metal Commander says, shoot him. He might have rabbis. You can't have rabbis at this difficulty. Yeah. That's a good point. You can't have a rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sean Dunn is another dollar. What did you expect of me, Dad? I'm two. I mean, goo goo ga ga ga. Taco Man donates $27 and says, Chat won't work, so I'm just saying hello. Holy shit, Taco Man. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. All right, so I think I'm going to run into some raiders in the streets here. So no matter what your perception is, most enemies do not get picked up on your radar in this difficulty. So you actually gotta keep an eye out. Like that man over there. That dick shot is what put him away. <laughs> uh, raider left arm. Cause I'll take any piece of armor I can get right now. Oh yes. And I'll put on the eyeglasses. Gives me perception. Now I have three perception. Armode wants to know, what was the dog's name? Uh, I believe your character just calls it dog meat. I think it just says dog early on. Not sure if they actually go with dog meat, but it's called dog meat in like every game. Right. Yeah, everyone else is saying dog meat. Look at this. Yeah. I'm rich. It's payday, fellas. Another one dollar donation by Sean. Uh, yelling about being abandoned some more. And I leveled up again. Let me some of this stuff. I got a little bit- nah. I'll wear the glasses. I need the perception more than I need the other stuff. <laughs> Metal Commander says the dog is called Rabbis, of course. Well, obviously. I thought we established <laughs> that. Wait, but can I, I take that guy's doing... mining helmet? <laughs> Sweet. I must look so fucking cool. Oh man, do I ever look like the greatest wasteland survivor in the world? You look like a dork. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> oh, let's let get to the sun to me. Yeah. It's payday, fellas. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Another one dollar donation. Sean, wait, if I'm too I'm kidnapped, how the hell do I have all this money? I don't know, you've been collecting caps. Um I need the the musket. The the laser musket marked off. Fetch me <laughs> musket. Okay. Uh I'm gonna level up. And hope I don't cock up everything. Uh, so let's take Life Giver, 20 extra maximum health. And I use my first level on getting extra damage resistance. Because I'm kind of a squishy target. Uh, I am at max health right now. Good. Alright, let's see if I get fucking shotgunned in the face around a corner and instant die. <laughs> Doing everything I can to keep my health high. Uh, Metalizer says you look like a fucking dink. Well, obviously. Look at this. <laughs> I'm rich. In real life, right? Oh, obviously. Sean donates another $1. Daddy, I am dead yet. 
I don't think that's spelled how they wanted it spelled. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Whoa! What the fuck? I walked around a corner and he did a cutscene auto kill. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It was pretty good. He was pretty pro. I couldn't fight back. It was a cutscene, and he was in melee range because that's the shape of the room. Okay. God hates you. Wow, that was really bullshit. Now I know what I'm in store for. <laughs> Get a kill count going in the chat, everybody. Uh, that's first death. That was bullshit. I didn't even fuck up there. It went into a cutscene. Jesus. Uh, lol Shane says, welcome to survival mode. Guess I should just have my dog enter every room before I do. Any more roaches in here? The no. whole chat has gone wick on you. They're like, one, one, one. Awesome. <laughs> All right, maybe I should uh, work on fixing up town a little bit first. I don't know. I don't feel like there's anything I can really do here to aid me until I have a population in this place. And... Clearing Concord is what gets this place a population. But at the same time, there are probably supplies in some of these houses that I could use. Yes. So maybe I should. Maybe really you should. There's a faster way to scrap things in this because it's a giant waste of my time. Uh... Oh, God. You know what? We're just gonna keep moving. Where's that sleeping bag? Let me go use that again. <laughs> Where is the sleeping bag I made? I think it's all the way up here. What's the over and under on how many deaths in this playthrough? I have no idea. But we all know you can't sleep more than three hours in a sleeping bag, dumbass. All right, <laughs> I've slept in the sleeping bag. All right, let's go to Concord. Let me just put this car in my pocket. No, I was actually scrapping it and teleporting all of the pieces into my Invisa workshop. Jeez. <laughs> Alright. What's gonna attack me here? Wasn't there like a roach that attacked me around here? I don't remember. Or was it mole rats? I already forget. I think mole rats can show up around here though. Hi, dog meat. Be my dog. <laughs> what are you doing by yourself? Let's go. Come with me. Pet, pet, pet. You're my dog now. You're the most loyal dog in the world. And you're my dog. He probably has another, like, owner who was just taking a piss out, out behind the back of the building. And, like, I just took his dog because he's the dumbest dog in the world. It's, it's like if my dog met anybody else. She I just, got... just she's so quick to betray me. She really is, though. I just got a wonder of donation by a Taco Man. I'm keeping a notepad of deaths. You're at zero deaths. Okay. I don't think that's accurate. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, the dudes were right up ahead here. So I want to score some kills here. Because I want to build up my kill count for my damage bonus. And also, you know, I want the experience. Look at this. I'm rich. It's payday, fellas. All right, there we go. Another $1 donation by Codsworth. Are you going to get Sean, sir? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe that's my prerogative. And you don't tell me what to do with my pierogies. Well, what if I told you to eat your pierogies? Hey, you can go get fucked. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a mining cap this time. Life isn't worth living. <laughs> but he did have boiled chest armor. <laughs> Guess you gotta kill yourself. This is a super elite hard mode. If you die in the game, you die in real life. <laughs> All right, I've got more armor on this time just because I got fucking lucky and the random item generation gave me more stuff. Okay, I leveled up. I'm taking Life Giver again because I need that health. Let's hope this dude doesn't fucking insta-kill me. Look at this. I'm rich. Press it's X to, out, to kill self. <laughs> what fucking hit me? Where are they hitting me from? Ah, there. Fuck it. I need to get into this room. I can't hit them from here. Uh, the mad librarian wants to know, what if I told you to eat beer pierogies and wear sweatpants? Uh, then you can double go fuck yourself. Because <laughs> I don't like sweatpants. <laughs> Alright, I'm low on pistol ammo. But this guy just dropped a double barrel shotgun, and I think this is going to be pretty good here. Have your tea back, you okay. I don't know if that guy who just attacked me was the same one from before. Alright, dog meat. Go. There. Go into the room. Okay, he's gone to the room. He saw nothing. Okay. You better not be fucking with me, dog meat. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> There's a guy. Okay. It's another guy dead. Got the shotgun back out. I don't like walking around even remotely hurt. But I also don't want to waste healing items. Okay. I'm doing okay. Not everything has gone to shit yet. What armor am I not wearing? I don't have anything on my left leg. Okay, I need to find left leg armor. And I know there's some enemies up ahead, and I'm very worried. Dog meat's good at stairs. I think you're wrong. Where the hell's my dog? I Where'd my him. dog go? Oh, fucking idiot dog. Go into that room, get shot at, and then <laughs> I'll back you up. It's not even your dog. Hey. A dog I found ten minutes ago. Go in the- No, go- Go in! Your pathfinding's horrendous. He hates you. He's like, fuck you, I'll He just called my- He just said, get some motherfucker to my dog. <laughs> There we go. Luckily, they're complete dumbasses, or else that would have been difficult. Oh, they are comically bad. Alright, well, I got the armor I needed. My armor's horrible, but at least I have armor on every part of my body now. Except for my head. You know, <laughs> the part I don't need to defend. Mad Librarian says, did dog meat get stuck on the stairs? I warned you about stairs, bro. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Metal Commander says, did dog meat just bite that guy in the ass? I think he did. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Where the fuck is dog meat? Oh, he's just getting up the stairs now, cool. <laughs> and you guys said dog meat was good at stairs. Clearly you guys know nothing. Okay, we're clear. Holy shit, that was nerve-wracking. Uh, Dale Monos wants to know, are you having a good day? Preston Garvey. It's, uh, passable, I guess. Oh, great, it's Captain Voice acting. 
glad to help. <laughs> well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. Garvey is... He's got to be one of the worst act vo voice actors for a major, major character in a mandatory part of a AAA game. He probably works Please, for J-Works. Uh, yeah. Uh, he gets paid on guilt. <laughs> I know, right? Sorry. Sounds rough. All right, let's just finish this conversation, everybody. Fuck off, Gravy. I like it. Uh huh. Minigun. I'll help if I can. But can't be too hard. Um, suicide. The pink fluffy bear says, "Isn't there a settlement that needs our help?" Bingo. Oh, probably. Yeah. All right, give me the perception bauble. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Coming. I don't care about you, mama druggie. <laughs> all right, I gotta be careful about falling damage. I almost killed myself there, and I don't want to go back to before all of this bullshit. Kill yourself. Oh god. oh god, no! Oh god, no! The game glitched! No! It's trying to pathfind my way to this terminal and it's failed and stuck me in a loop! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Mad Librarian brings up a good point. He says, Guilt, you were getting paid more than Mandy. She only got paid in shame. <laughs> This is the worst! Yeah, that's... That that's, is not okay! That's bullshit, dude. <laughs> that is not okay! Oh my god, I gotta go back to my previous save all the way back at the sleeping bag. Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm sorry. Are you fucking kidding me? It just wasted like 20 min Console toggle- No, you can't use the console in this difficulty. It's disabled. Ugh, oh my that's, god. That's painful. That didn't even happen to me, and that's painful. I fucking hate. See, here's the thing. How can you... Mm, how can you have a difficulty in which you're not allowed to save on the fly in a game where shit can just break? You can be put in situations where you can't possibly get out of. Like that. That, like, you might look at that and be like, whoa, that's a freak incident. I've had that happen to me, like, five times over the course of my playthrough on YouTube. Thanks, Bethesda. It's not uncommon. This shit happens a lot. It's Bethesda. They, not, they don't fucking fix their games. It's unreal. They don't. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Like, it's at the point where a lot of people will make mods just fixing the bugs that Bethesda makes. Yeah. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Good lord. Maybe I can find a uh, fan mod at some point that says, fixes that dumb fucking bullshit where you get stuck on terminals. <laughs> there probably is one. Oh, probably. Thanks for the $1 donation, Dogman. Says, does this count as a death? No. I didn't die. The game fucked me. If you want to have a game fucked count, there you go. There's one. Actually, no, that's two, because the insta-kill upon walking around a corner where I'm stuck in a cutscene so I can't possibly react... Where I'm literally stuck in a cutscene. Game kind of fucked me there, too. That was bad mechanics, though, not a glitch. So it depends on what you want to count as the game fucking me. Do you want me to run a poll for you? Uh, if you want to. Okay. Did that raider just run in the building? Hey, Garvey, you want to back me up? Jesus. I got a group of settlers in high. <laughs> Is that a fact? <laughs> it's like he bleeds in and out of a lisp. <laughs> Sounds less like he has a lisp and more like he just has a really fat tongue. 
<laughs> Maybe he just like came out of a dental appointment and decided to Yeah, it sounds back. like his mouth is a little bit numb. <laughs> Okay. Is bullshit guy gonna be bullshit in the next room? Right. Is that the one who did it? Did I kill him? The pole is up. Okay, I think bullshit guy's dead. All right, I hope my fucking dog is backing me up. <laughs> like, I can taste the salt from here. I hate everything. And for good reason. <laughs> All right, where's my dog? <laughs> I swear to God, if I get stuck in a goddamn terminal again- Oh, he's just running ahead this time. I didn't even tell him to go in the room and he's going in- Now he's drawing them out to me! <laughs> Fucking idiot dog. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay. Got the shotgun. That corpse just asked me if I'm getting tired yet. <laughs> like, I genuinely mean it. Like, he, he was dead, and then, you tired yet? He was on the ground dead. He was in Ragdoll. That's so good. <laughs> my dog is just running ahead through rooms. My dog just opened that door. <laughs> Duvin says, Bethesda, we make games of glue. <laughs> <laughs> Not inaccurate. No, it really isn't. It's more like paper clips than glue, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so 65% is saying no, uh, that did not count as a death. Okay, that's what I thought. The terminal does not fucking count. And, and they also love me. Okay. Yes. Man, I don't know who Perfect. I don't care about you, Garvey. <laughs> Garvey, we're just gonna talk. We're just gonna talk real fast, Garvey. Real fast. One good idea can make all the difference. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old crash vertebrate up on the roof. <laughs> uh, like. Mad librarian says, you tired yet? I'm pretty yeah. tired. That's why I'm laying down, dying. <laughs> what you'll need. Sodium overdose. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. I'm going to go down there and retrieve the power core. And nothing is going to go wrong. Don't touch the terminal. I'm gonna pick the lock this no time. Bobby no <laughs> bobby pins. I gotta go and do the terminal. Are there any bobby <laughs> pins around here, maybe? Please. Please, game, throw me a fucking bone. <laughs> Just give me one bobby pin. I'm not gonna fuck up the lock. Please, game. I'm begging you here. Don't make me use the terminal. Lydia says, what the fuck are you wearing? Uh, my really dignified uniform? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and your really dignified pedo glasses. Hey, don't you insinuate stuff like that about my glasses. <laughs> Come on, there's there's got to be a bobby pin, right? Maybe there's a bobby pin up on one of those desks in Garvey's room. Just, like, there's got to be. There's no way there's just no bobby pins. The game wouldn't fuck me like that, would they? Probably. Come on. Oh no, I think I'm gonna have to use it again.
I wonder if anyone's <laughs> gonna make uh, montage videos of all the stupid bullshit in my playthrough of this because <laughs> I'm like not that. I'm actually not going to I'm just gonna render it and fucking <laughs> upload it just do the beginning do the end render and upload it because like I don't have time I'm too busy with the good parts of my show <laughs> wolf 20 ko says god damn it bobby pin fuck <laughs> like it or not also, it should be dang it. God we gotta, dang it, bobby pin. We gotta do it. I've it, there, there are no bobby pins. I've got to use the terminal. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stand right fucking in front of it, right here. Okay, we dodged a bullet. <laughs> Metal laser says Alt F four fixes the terminal bug. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, I guessed the correct password. Sweet, unlock security gate. Thank you. Watch, I'll fall through the fucking floor opening the door or something. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, I've got the fusion core. Put the fusion core in the power armor. Got it. Now, luckily, I don't think they've ever fixed the fucking death claw that's coming up. It still can't enter the building right beside you when you walk out. It gets stuck and stands there and you kill it. Which is good, because that thing is bullshit hard. On uh, high difficulties, like even on very hard mode, it was pretty brutal. Mm. Which I expected to be very hard, mind you. But pretty much the only way you can beat it is go into that one building, and it's unable to pathfind its way through the door. Unless they fixed it, I don't know, and then I'm gonna be pissed because it'll get me killed. That's how I beat the death claw not long ago. Good. Ant King the Second says, "Remember how they said that characters would know your name, but it turned out that characters only turned out to be Codsworth and only yep. Codsworth." <laughs> <laughs> yep, one character who's optional whether they're with you or not. <laughs> oh, and by the way, placing your uh, placing the power car in, uh, power car power core in armor that can also get you stuck forever. I've had that happen, so don't do that at the wrong angle. Um. Matt Benz says there's also a glitch with jumping where if you jump off a cliff, no matter how small it is, your character might get stuck in the falling animation. Cool. <laughs> what a fun <laughs> perk of fun. the game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna just take my pistol out. I'm gonna pistol fight a little bit until the fucking death claw comes out. Want to get some experience? Wow, this guy is not taking much damage. Oh, he's the special dude. Okay. Maybe I should use a special weapon on him. That missed. That does nothing. Oh, dear. There we go, that one hurt. Hey, dog meat, you wanna go in there? No? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Wolf 20 KL says, Purston Gravy's voice acting is so bad because they spent the voice acting budget on making Codsworth say your name. <laughs> I like to think that's the answer. Ugh. <laughs> uh. That death claw is gonna break out any second, I think. It might actually start to happen once I get close enough. Jesus. This informed me not to go near that car. Oh, cool! That car just took forever to blow up, and it blew up on dog meat. Dog meat's fine. Okay. <laughs> so, like, it doesn't matter what dog your character comes across, its name is just going to be dog meat. I believe so. Wow. He well, you always, you always meet the same dog. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Raven Plays says to tell you that under Red Rocket, there is a mole rat den and a fusion core is there, and if you go to the junkyard with a robot in it, you can kill it and get another fusion core from it. Also, in a building, you can get a paint job for your power armor. I'd rather just buy them. Power cars are cheap. Oh, here comes the fucking death claw. Get him! Get him! I'm fucking running away into this building that he can't reach me in because he's an idiot. 
Get him! <laughs> then I'm getting my minigun out and waiting for him to show up at my doorstep. Get him! I'm sure Dog Meat will get his ass killed out there. Wow. Um, Imaginary Shadow says, Garvey is voiced by John Gentry, and his only role using his voice is Garvey. <laughs> like, that's it. You know that what? His, Not was his, surprised. That was his first and last voice acting job. Yeah. <laughs> was he just like, was he a programmer or something? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm sticking with it. He was uh, funded by J-Works. So I need to uh, clear Concord of hostels, so I need to actually kill that Deathclaw. So I just gotta wait for him to find me in this building, get stuck on the doorway, and then I'll kick his ass. <laughs> I'm not fighting him fair, fuck that noise. The Mad Librarian says, Something about a hulking guy in power armor striding out in front of these poorly armed, unorganized raiders is hilarious. Yeah, it's really stupid that the game gives you power armor this early. You don't need to earn it or anything. It's incredible. And it's really <laughs> overpowered. It's unreasonable. I think it's to idiot-proof the game. Okay, it's found me. Let me get in the building. You better back me up here, Garvey. Dog me, you probably don't want to run out there and fight this thing. Um, so this is the best boss battle ever. <laughs> Taco Man wants to know if you have any DLCs. Nope. I don't have that kind of money to waste. A uh, quest, heal your companion? Um, how about no? Dogmeat decided to go out there on his own dime. I just met him ten minutes ago, so, uh, no. <laughs> what a boss battle. <laughs> so hard, you guys. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> They never fixed that. I think they never fixed anything. You guys saw what just happened before that. The terminal. They don't fix shit. It's Bethesda. <laughs> okay. Um, I went to go turn my flashlight on, and for whatever reason, that opened up my skill menu, so I guess I'll do my skills now. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'm tempted to go straight into gun nuts so I can start upgrading my guns, because that'll probably be useful. I already have the health things I wanted. I also probably really want sneak, so I'm harder to detect while sneaking, so I'm probably gonna crouch walk fucking everywhere. Uh, I also want science, but I don't think that's as high of priority as some of these other things. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do... Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do... is gun nut. I think the most important thing is that I can make myself proper weapons. <laughs> Better not get too close to the enemies. They made fucking one shot insta kill me while I'm in my armor. <laughs> like cutscene killing you and shit. Oh my god. Um, Delmonos wants to know when is the Blood Bowl fan league going to be made? Well, I pitched it, like, a fucking year ago, and no one said they wanted to play in it, so... Unless a bunch of people tell me they'll play in it, then it's not happening, because I, I can't do a fan league without at least, like, six people. Uh, we're not friends, Garvey. Stop kidding yourself. You're nothing to me. You know, you talk like a jerk. Why was that line delivered like such a pansy? Because <laughs> Garvey... I'll take what I can I could use someone like No, no, my character. Because your character oh. in this game is an absolute fucking dink. Right, He's completely <laughs> voice acted, and it's so annoying. Yeah, that Don't sounds annoying. It's all right. <laughs> Mad Librarian says Mama. Bethesda hasn't bug fixed since the last time Trump paid taxes. Please, Mama. What? Topical, lol! <laughs> it's gonna kill you. Alright, I'm gonna leave the building and go back to the place place and then I'm gonna fix up the thingy thing. Town. Maybe I'll even have a bed I can sleep more than three hours in. 
Maybe I'll make a cot. Oh, but you can't sleep for more than uh, four hours in a cot. I'll make a bed. Uh, if you put some gold trim on the bed, you could sleep for more than five hours in that. Fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe that. I make a sleeping bag. I sleep in the sleeping bag. I pick eight hours. It wakes me up after three with a terrifying loading screen that looked like it was going to crash. It says, you can't sleep more than three hours in a sleeping bag. The fuck I can't. I know, right? You're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> can't sleep more than three hours in a sleeping bag. Why is that rule there? It only takes me two more cloth to make a bed. I just did it for the sake of time. <laughs> I could have walked around and gotten the shit in town for free. <laughs> it's not like there's a difficulty thing on that. Jesus. So dumb. If you buy the 9.99 DLC, you can sleep for seven and a half hours. Power to the player. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, so my guy's hungry and thirsty, so I don't have as much AP. Which is annoying, because I use that to sprint. <laughs> Tubin says, Far Cry 3 did have an annoying protagonist. And antagonist. And story. I agree, <laughs> I did a playthrough of that game on YouTube. Oh man. I've never to be played fair though, well. The main character, Jason Brody, he was comically stupid. He was oh, so no. poorly written. My favorite is when you have a mission where you're like going woohoo well on the back of a car shooting explosives at people. And then you have your big speech with your girlfriend where you're like, don't worry about me. I can take care of it all. You walk out of the building and immediately it does a cutscene where um, it does like a cutscene phone call thing on your radio where your character uh, gets called by the doctor and he's like, hey Brody, what's up? And you're like, I don't know if I can do it. It's like, wow, tonal shift. It's almost <laughs> like this was written by an idiot. And it was written by an idiot. The idiot who wrote it said that the entire game is a commentary on how video games desensitize players to killing. And when it was pointed to, out to him that that's stupid and that's not how that works, he gets flustered in interviews and says, oh, I don't have, you're wrong, but I don't have time to go over it. I'm out of time, but you're wrong. You don't get it. <laughs> of course. He, he's one of those people from the school of uh, if you disagree with me, it's because you don't get it. Right. Oh my god. That's the the writer for, uh, for Far Cry 3, and that's why in Far Cry Blood Dragon, there's that one weird moment of the game where they uh, make fun of people who think that uh, video games desensitize you and program you to kill. That's literally the writers of Blood Dragon taking a shot at the writers of Far Cry 3. Wow. Uh, believe it or not, that man was not called back to write Far Cry 4. <laughs> oh, what a pretentious douchebag. All right, so we're going to be right. we're going to be crafting for a while everybody. Just kind of deconstructing stuff, cleaning up. I really wish I could do this during the daytime, but you can't sleep more than 4 hours. All right. Um I probably need something to eat and drink. Uh we have almost no food set up by default. I think we just have some food growing out in this garden here. Yeah, we have a couple of melons growing, well. growing. And a gourd. You have a couple of melons growing, huh? Yep, lol! <laughs> I guess anything can happen after a nuclear explosion. Mm -hmm. Us being funny. Yay! Best stream. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, we need to clean this place up. Far Cry 3 was fun, but also garbage. Yeah, see, the Far Cry games are really fun to just fuck around in. But they're, the stories are almost always hot garbage. Like, even Far Cry 4, you're choosing between, like, the dumbest things where, like... It's funny because um, you had to choose the whole game between... I believe his name was Caval. Um, mm -hmm. It's, like, a guy called, like, Caval or Cabal or something. And... Uh, no, it's Sabal. That was it. You need to choose between Sabal... And, uh, what's her face? Some, um, Am Amita, I think her name is. The whole game. And, uh, the thing is, she always says, like, oh, he's all about religion and doesn't care about the future and he's too dogmatic and stuck in tradition. And he's always like, she's a sociopath or something. <laughs> and the thing is, she's actually a sociopath. And if you do the playthrough where you always choose Sabal, because I picked him every time because he was the non-insane one every time. 
I later heard, because the whole time playing, she's like, he's all dogmatic and all about religion. religion. He never brought it up, like, once. I was like, what the fuck is she talking about? Turns out if you had been playing, if you had been agreeing with her, then he would have been ranting at you about religion. Right. But they wrote it in so that if you side with him, he never talks about it, but she acts like he talks about it. The writing is really bad. You're not funny. <laughs> fuck you. Oh. oh. Wow, he came in and said that and then left. Like, that's all he had to say. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's Ash. That must be so confusing on YouTube for people who, like, find this playthrough and don't know anything about my show. They just hear some <laughs> random third person. You're not funny. Fuck you. <laughs> so good. Uh, maybe life's worth living again. I say as uh, I'll probably get stuck in another terminal in ten minutes. I feel like I should be sleeping every 10 seconds I'm in town, just in case. You know, maybe what we thought was us getting stuck in a terminal was actually just our brain, in, our brain ceasing to function due to some kind of horrible <laughs> wasteland disease, and it was our fault for not taking care of that. What happened is the terminal was operated by Windows 10, and it blue-screened. Oh, you mean like it <laughs> likes to do about 50% of the time I'm about to stream? Yes. Oh, man. Some people upgrade. <laughs> you know, I actually, here's the thing. There are things I like in Windows 10. For instance, uh, my monitors both run at different refresh rates. And uh, if I use DirectX 11, that used to make it so my other monitor would go black, which was really annoying. Windows 10, it doesn't do that Look anymore. This. I'm rich. Um, it's payday, fellas. Which is really good. However... You know what's not a nice trade-off? I literally had gone into my services and forced it so that Windows 10 can never update again unless I manually tell it to have the ability to do it again. Uh -huh. Because uh, it it after many, many months of updating just fine, suddenly it is no longer able to update. It will randomly try to update at different parts uh, times through the day. And every single time it tries to update... Every single time that it tries to update, it slows my entire computer to a crawl and then fails after half an hour. And it started doing that when I was getting ready to record and shit. Good. So I had to remove their entire ability to update the computer. That sucks. Jesus Christ. Um, this one time I was using the computer as an alarm clock because I had left my phone at work and it decided to update in the middle of the night and I woke up like two hours late for work. <laughs> About five times now, I have had my computer um, restart overnight to update without warning me. Because it's like, oh, he doesn't use the computer at three in the morning. Yeah, but I was rendering video overnight, so none of yeah. it got rendered. I had to re-render it, and I can't do other work while my computer is rendering. Jesus. I know. And it's like, I don't mind if the computer decides to restart itself in the middle of the night, but fucking don't get rid of my alarms. <laughs> yeah, and don't fucking keep my videos from rendering. If you detect something's fucking going on, don't restart. Uh-huh. How about it doesn't auto-schedule restarts? I'd like that. I would do it manually in a heartbeat. I'm not one of those guys who holds off for a year on an update. Right? I do it the same day as soon as I have an opportunity. I know. Yeah. It could just you know, notify you that there is an update available, like every other program in existence. Damn. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway. All right, gravy. Um, <laughs> you can give me the quest. It makes me laugh every time you call him gravy. The only chance to start rebuilding the trouble is... Ooh, so in the chat said playing Blood Bowl 2. I love Blood Bowl 2. Fun mm. game. Need to play it on the show more. Yes. Um, how close am I to a level? I'm super close to a level. Okay, uh, talk to the settlers. I, don't I just need to talk to Sturges and he gives me a quest? And my monitor just went black? Oh no! Uh, and it's back! Okay! Did, did, okay. That go, did that go black for the viewers? 
I haven't seen it yet, but I'll let you know. I wonder if that was my graphics card being weird because I did a driver update recently because my, my monitor kept going black while playing DirectX 11 games, which was really annoying. And I did a driver update and it didn't happen again. But it just happened now in this. <laughs> okay, hold on. The game is telling me to go talk to settlers at... Oh, at Ten Pine Bluffs. I'm stupid. For a second, I thought he wanted me to talk to people in the town. I was like, why is it telling me to go out of town? Don't tell me he fucked something up. Um, no it went one... black again. Yeah, no one is seeing this happen, by the way. Maybe it's my monitor? Could be. God, I hope my fucking monitor is not dying, because, like, the light's still on the monitor, the power's still on, and this only happens when I'm playing games sometimes. I really hope my monitor's not fucking dying. I can't afford a new monitor right now. We're looking to try and, like, move and get a condo right now. We need to save every dime we can. Hey, I know. Hey, Sturgis. Do you have a moment to do some work? All right, Sturgis, I'd give me a quest. <laughs> Librarian says the only thing that went black was gravy. Fuck. <laughs> black, black gravy. <laughs> What's my quest? Build beds. Okay, I can I can build some beds. Gotta make a good settlement. Okay, first of all, I'm making myself a proper bed. It's in the bathroom, because that's where it is. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go sleep in that bed for eight hours now, and there's nothing you can do to stop me, because I want to have the well-rested perk. Well, Apparently, a sleeping bag is just way worse than a fucking shitty mattress on a slab of metal with no blankets or pillow. Apparently, that's better than a sleeping bag. Okay. Um, Kershrose says hi. Hi, was it Kershra? Kershrose. Oh, Rose. Yeah, we just call her Rose. Um, hey, Rose. Okay, so I gotta find cigarettes because they give you cloth. I know it's stupid. Oh, Sean's baby crib. Let's delete it. Mad librarian so, says if your gravy is black, then you cook as well as MDB and Fatima. Awesome. <laughs> um, I just saw some weird screen tearing that I think was only on mine. I think my, oh, yeah. I, I seriously think that my, uh, my monitor might be dying, and I'm getting concerned. Hmm. God, I don't want my monitor to die. I cannot afford that right now, and I need two monitors for the sake of editing and doing the streams and stuff. Oh, that's nerve-wracking. Ooh, TV tray dinner. That's aluminium, which is rare, and you use it in everything for um, power armor. So it's kind of important. Just a bit. I'm sorry, sea captain's hat? Can I wear this? <gasps> I hope. Awesome. I'm now the conductor of the love boat. <laughs> um, Hernandez wants to know, is your VGA loose? No, I double-checked it back when the issue started. I do have a shitty converter, but I don't think that's it. Mm. Uh, Leo with a plan is suggesting to build a water pump. It is infinite pure water. I am aware. However, I doubt I have the stuff for it. Holy shit, I do? Well, I had to make a generator, but yes, I will make this right now, because... Uh, pure water in this difficulty is really important. Especially because in this difficulty you get less pure water, so you want to have a lot of water purifiers. Alright, well that leveled me up, which is nice. Let me get a power generator here. There we go, we have water connected. And let's get a second one. There we go. We've got a whole bunch of water being purified now. We'll need more power. There we go. There we go. We've got tons of water being purified now. Uh, so we need more food. Now, annoyingly enough, this is probably the only settlement that most players care about is their main starting one. 
And annoyingly enough, the main settlement is actually the one that um, fucks up the most in terms of the AI doesn't often uh, auto-assign two things when it's supposed to. Seems to be growing which well. is frustrating. Right. Okay, one of the melons grew so we can just replant it so our people have more food. There we go. And hopefully one of our fucking idiot uh, villagers, there we go, one of our fucking idiot villagers has started to work that tile. So we are getting more food for our people, which we desperately need. Uh, bobby pin, I'll take that. Ooh, laundered loungewear. Charisma and endurance. <laughs> Why endurance? <laughs> loungewear. I love it. You're going to be so stylish. I'm um, not already? No. Oh. No. Oh. You look like a dork. Okay, mm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Don't tell the chat that. Now they know I'm a dork. <laughs> I think they knew long ago. Oh. Chat, <laughs> confirm or deny. I'm going to run a poll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, chat, I mean it. Someone's got to make compilation videos and send them my way. I'll, um... If Sun makes compilation videos of my, uh, of all the stupid moments of, of my Followed 4 streams for me, then send them my way, I'll check them out, and if I like them, then I'll put them on my channel, and I'll give you full credit, and, like, a link to your channel, and your Twitter, and all of that. Just as long as you give me the thumbs up to do it. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna drink some water right here, it's probably not purified or anything. Yeah, it's radioactive, whatever. <laughs> I just need to be not thirsty. <laughs> what? Drinking some water, whatever. Oh, right. If we can get sick for drinking unpurified water. Uh, well, then I got like, I don't know. I'm just laughing at everyone's reaction to the poll. I got radioactive AIDS now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That thing hits hard. Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, is it insta-killing me? No? No, it just had a cutscene that doesn't insta-kill you. Okay. Oh, I think I'm about to die. Yep, no. it killed me. Aww. That's Will, that's... when was my last save? I know I <laughs> saved in 10... Oh, it was right before my level up that I, for I forgot to spend. Right, it was right before I did the water purifiers. I See, this is why I need to obsessively sleep in this game. Uh, but if you're well rested in this game, uh, one of the nice things is, is if you're well rested, you actually get 10% more experience, uh, which I should have at all times. <laughs> it's also, why I'm a high intellect character. You get more experience if you're high intellect, and because there's no level limit, you might as well. Okay. Um, water purifiers. Um. So 76% says that you are a dork, and 23% says that you are a dork. Oh, you only gave yes options? <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> well, apparently I need to pick up the circuitry. Apparently I picked that up in one of these places and was not aware. You know, there really should be a button to just tell my fucking idiot people here to just search around, scavenge the place where we already live for me. But no. No. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Get it? It's like Crazy Taxi if it hated us. <laughs> Where is the place where I got the shotgun shells? Because apparently I didn't loot that one yet in this file. Um, I feel like it was up in here somewhere. This must be the worst thing in the world to watch. And yet I'm <laughs> at 58 viewers, which is not bad. Oh my god. Uh... What do I need to deconstruct around here? Apparently a television only gets me steel and wood. That is 
without value. They're all just saying different songs now. I know, right? <laughs> it all started with the radioactive song. Uh, welcome back, sir. I do because I died of radiation? Yeah. I need to get my captain's hat Down back. I forget which pin. house I found that. Oh, I got no bobby pins! Fuck. How many times am I going to be fucked by my lack of bobby pins? <laughs> God dang it, Bobby. <laughs> It's his last name, is Pins. <laughs> I think it was in this place. Sea Captain's hat. How did the Sea Captain's hat not protect me in the fight? I don't understand. <laughs> I thought it makes you invincible. No, Hernandez, I'm not gonna read slash fix. Nope. Not unless you pay me a hundred dollars. <laughs> and I'll give... It. And I'll give none of it to Mandy. <laughs> Buy me a new monitor, and you get to hear her say one sentence of a slash fic. <laughs> just one sentence! I just like doing that voice. Any excuse <laughs> to do that voice. It's the best voice. It's like Gremony Light. It's not as intense as a Gremony. <laughs> Wasn't that the voice you used for the fucking JWorks thing? Uh, no. No, it sounds similar. Um, no, uh, what I was instructed to do was, I'm trying to remember, I, I need to have, like, something in front of me to read it. And... <laughs> Just say burritos, because that was, like, 100% <laughs> <Yeah>. dialogue. <laughs> it was, um, first voice acting gig. I'm, I'm a superstar now. Um... Oh, so for the sake, uh, it was for the sake of the sauce. Uh, how how did he have me say it? Because he coached me a lot on it. He was really happy with the outcome. I wasn't, but he he told me he's happy with it, and he's the boss. It's too good. Too so I, I stuck with what he told me to do. Oh my god. Oh, it was really bad. It was so bad. I'm so sorry I made you do that. <laughs> hey, I'm the one who decided I'd I'd tough it out and do the last uh his last few requests even after he fucking even after you left, I I decided to finish up my last few lines. Yeah. Even like literally I had five more lines and I think three of them said something to do with burritos. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's not a comedy. The story is not a comedy. <laughs> It's too good. It's All right. too good. I need to get in the habit of sleeping every single time I'm going to leave this town because it's not safe to do it without sleeping. God. If anyone wants to look up the thing I did the voice acting gig for and that Mandy did basically 99% of the work for. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, you, if anyone wants to look it up, uh, I never get the name right. Monsters Inside of Me? Yeah, it's the monsters inside me. Okay, inside me, not inside of me. Got it. Which is I, funny. I always get it slightly wrong. There's there's already a show in existence called The Monsters Inside Me. It was oh god, actually, good lord, he couldn't change really the popular. name. No, it's uh, it's a show like about various different types of exotic parasites, and I remember that it was on Animal Planet. Did he? I bet you he didn't even Google it. No, he didn't. And I mentioned it, and he was like, oh, that didn't exist. And I was like, no, it totally did. I used to watch it. Wow. <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking knife fight these bees. I'm sorry, flies. <laughs> not the bees! Fucking, oh, this is not going well. I'm gonna die again. <laughs> <laughs> if I hit some fucking pistol ammo, those things would be dead already. But the shotgun cannot hit them worth shit. I got a short pipe rifle. I should have been using that. <laughs> oh, it's so inaccurate. Gravy! Back <laughs> me up, bro! I really don't want to waste a stim pack on this. <laughs> gravy, where are you? There's Gravy. Gravy, back me up! <laughs> Has he got my back? No? 
shit heel, I hate you. He's not even looking in the direction of the enemy. <laughs> Juking and jiving. Garvey, it's within melee range. Thank you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> now I'm gonna go over here to my. Oh, no, that's my sleeping bag. I can't sleep in that for more than three hours. <laughs> I should have. I'm gonna go back to my bath. Get away, June. And get into my bathroom with my candles, and I'm sleeping for another eight hours. Two bloat <laughs> flies, guys. Time to save. Jawanda showed up in Skype? Oh my god, he never talks in Skype anymore. Alright. Uh, time to go back out in the world. Is chat being funny? They really are. They're all like <laughs> fucking up the monsters inside me. They're like, I, um, Ugh. I tried to do a funny face. <laughs> and I scrunched up my face so much. Ah! I scrunched up my face so much that the back of my tongue in my throat pushed against another part of my throat and it tickled and now I'm coughing and my <laughs> eyes are watering. The face I tried the face was so dumb that my body's rebelling. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think Oh, there's there are the mosquitoes. But they've changed it to the monsters beside me. Uh, the coaster inside bees, and the minister's underside with peas. How about just lol, why were you in this? <laughs> yeah, basically. Bad decision maker simulator. Oh, tell me about it. Alright, so there was another one, and I lost more than half my health on fighting the previous one. Maybe I should be using my power armor to fight these mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. You know what? I should go check if I can upgrade my pistol. The thing is, I have no way of getting more ammo right now, because we don't have, um... We're not at the point yet where uh, that junk trader comes through town, because I'd love to, like, sell stuff to her and buy some ammo. Because... The 10 millimeter pistol is surprisingly really good. You can upgrade it for a long time and make it good. I'll try to make myself useful. No one wants to the monster on top of me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> They're, They're all saying me... that one. <laughs> They're making me laugh. <laughs> They're making you laugh. They're making me laugh. They're making me laugh. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I wouldn't be very good company right now. I don't even remember the name of the character I played in that show. <laughs> Forget <it> already. <laughs> when did I record my previous line? Two weeks ago. <laughs> I was um the burrito guy. Um, Fuck. It, this is killing me. What was his name? His name was uh fucking Ryan Chadwick. Yeah, Ryan Shadwick, the wolf man. That was it, right? The, the wild man. The wild man. Wild man Shadwick. The beard. Wild, wild man Shadwick. The <laughs> beard. And that's right, he had three fucking names. He really did. And in the script, they're written under different names. They it was are. incredible. Like in the last version, in the last version of the script, it was like YNG Beard, I think. So like Young Beard. <laughs> young Beard. Fucking Christ. That's my rapper name. <laughs> so good. I'm dying. Oh shit. If anyone else watched this, this is on YouTube as well as everything else. <laughs> you don't want to fucking watch it. It's Newgrounds. It's. Hey, you edited it. <laughs> I know you, you don't. You salvaged it, right? No, no, I didn't. You can't polish a turd. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can sure as hell recap it. <laughs> God, fucking Christ. Oh, most people aren't gonna get the context of that unless you watch the show, but it's so bad. Mandy had to like petition the unnamed man who is who who roped us into it. She had to basically petition the guy to allow him to shorten 
the intros, the recaps at the beginning of the episodes, because one was like 10 minutes long recapping the previous episode. That's not even exaggeration. It was literally 10 minutes long. (laughs) (laughs) You can't polish a turd, but you can recap. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God, I'm I'm proud of that. Oh, my gut hurts from laughing. (laughs) So good. It was gold. It was absolutely gold. Oh, my God. (laughs) One recap was longer than the rest of the episode. That's true. (laughs) It was. (laughs) How does that happen? I don't know. Bad writing. Bad, bad writing. That's all. All right. I need armor, skill, and science to upgrade uh, the shit out of this... uh power armor, and I think that power armor is going to be basically required. Oh, right, I've already leveled up. I can spend a point. I already got that level of gun dot. I should get science. There we go. Alright, so I can do some high-tech weapon stuff, as well as a little bit of base crafting that's involved with uh, that. Hey, June, you want to get the fuck out of the way, you bitch? Yeah, you bitch! He showed him. Yeah. For having a woman's name, how dare he be Korean? <laughs> My mom's name is June. I need to be alone right now. Yeah? But she's uh-huh. not even Korean. Cultural no. appropriation. <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard me. Are you denying it? That offends me. <laughs> Uh, powerful receiver. Oh, that's way more damage per shot. I'm thinking that's pretty good. My ammo for that pistol is so bad, though. Pipe rifle ammo is really common, but pipe rifles fucking suck. <clears throat> I could increase the damage by quite a bit. Let's do it. Alright, this shitty pipe rifle is going to have to be my main weapon for a while. (coughs) Mm. Ugh, God, my eyes are watering from laughing so hard. Improved bash, better recoil, and aim with scopes. (laughs) Mad Librarian says that my mom is called Jun, Kim Jung Il, to be precise. Fuck. <laughs> Which is absolutely correct. It is. <laughs> You're tied to this place. I had to get the dictator right. mentality from something. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, Mom Murphy, I'm gonna play along just to get your quest, because uh, your quest gets me experience points. I just want so I'm gonna feed this old lady drugs. <laughs> I don't think I have any jet to give her. Nope, no jet. Hey, old lady. Oh my as, god. As soon as I get some drugs, I'll give it to her. Your costume is so good. I know, right? <laughs> I forgot you were wearing that and I saw it. I fucking can't. Alright, I need to go back to that um, fucking the gas station. See if I can loot anything good from there. Right, I've got, already got my shitty pipe rifle ready. <laughs> I'm such a badass. My shitty raider armor, and by raider armor, I mean it looks like a discarded piece of a car that I just strapped to my chest. Gives me pretty much no protection. It's the worst armor in the game. Really need, like, metal armor or something. Hi, doggy dog. Follow me, dog meat. Come on, boy. Yeah, he's now officially renamed dog meat. Alright, so I've got a companion. He's shit, but I've got a companion. Purified water. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> this is the Mandy shit on the monster side of her stream. Wait, so the monster is specifically inside of you? I guess. <sighs> I guess is so. it a tapeworm? <laughs> <laughs> 
No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I like how no comment says way more than it should. It really does. Uh <laughs> Get out of the way, dog meat, Jesus Christ. He's so mean to that poor puppy. Fucking idiot dog. <laughs> I'm calling ASPCA. It's not a real dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all dog abusers say. That's what all dogs say. <laughs> All right, now I gotta run back to the other town. One day I'm gonna be in a fight again. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna die instantly to a giant mosquito. Good. Because I'm talented. Good. Well, I do have a better gun now, so I might be able to handle myself better. Really, the armor is the issue. Even with the health perk and the damage resistance perk, I don't have good health. Seems to be growing well. RV Zero says this is the fifth most viewed stream on Hitbox right now. Oh, it does not deserve to be. <laughs> Alright, gotta pick more of those things. Alright, dog meat, get out of my way! <laughs> Shitty dog. Feck off, Dag! I know a person called Dag. Dag. Mm -hmm. Who is this person you know called Dag? Uh, he's... You can see him on YPW. Cool. Which is my wrestling show. Nice. Yeah? He has matches on there. <laughs> Perhaps if I know enough people who are women that are interested in being in the game, you can have some matches the next one, but as ends, you'd have no competition. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yep. Okay, I've dropped off some stuff. I think I'm gonna go try and take out that other fucking bug now. We're gonna <laughs> sleep for an hour in the sleeping bag here. You feel ill. Parasites. Cool, I got tapeworms. So you got a monster inside you? Yep. <laughs> the burrito inside me. <laughs> Hey, don't laugh for the sake of the sauce, man. <laughs> Stop it, you're killing me. <laughs> Young Chipotle. <laughs> Wait, is that actually one of your lines? No. I was okay. saying that's, that's what you should have in the script instead of Young Beard. <laughs> Young Chipotle. Oh god, I hear it! Oh god, I see it! Fucking kick its ass. Get him! Ah, fucking vats! Kick his ass, sea bass! Ah, uh, ah, uh, is it dead? I don't know, I can't see shit. My dog is in the way. There, I killed it when it was trying to run away. No <laughs> mercy for mosquitoes. No, fuck that mosquito. Well, that took half my life. And too many bullets. You'll be okay. Maybe I should go back and save. I killed a whole mosquito. <laughs> oh, this cabin. I think I get fucking jumped when I go in there. I'm gonna shoot with a stim pack. Oh, wow. Okay, stim packs dehydrate you. Good to know. Alright. Dog meat, you're here. Get ready to back me up, bro. Uh, Swift Nipples says hello. Hey, Swift Nipples. And David David Corporeal says hello. Hey, Dave. Ah! <laughs> fucking, fucking bloat fly. Oh, the spread on this gun's really bad. If I could get, like, two hits on it, it'd be dead. Oh, thank God. There. Okay. Got him. I killed them. That one had some money in it. Why wouldn't gotcha, it? Bitch. I mean, one good reason why it wouldn't. 
Okay. What's in here? Hot plate. Hell yeah. Permanently take 5% less damage from melee attacks. That's pretty That's good, so actually. I'm happy with that. <clears throat> Mattress! Sleep! Laundered green dress! Sweet. Are you gonna put on the dress? Maybe. Please? I'll do that in my own time. Aww! I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alright, let's mark this place off. I think this place has ghouls. Ha! Ah, saw that one ahead of time and shot it in the butt. In the butt. That's the ghoul's weak point. <laughs> Alright, dog meat, keep me covered. <laughs> the mad librarian says one good reason why the fly wouldn't have money, because it's on its fifth mortgage and its wife just left due to its crippling alcohol addiction. She took the kids and everything. I'm gonna say <clears throat> that you know a little bit too much about the personal life of this fly. I think you're projecting. <laughs> uh... Alright, dog meat. You wanna go in one of these buildings and like brew me up back? <laughs> I regularly ask my dog to make lunch for me. She she never does. Bitch. I know, right? Literally, because she's a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've identified the joke. Na 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 na. I are smart. Yeah, it's better than a lot of people. <laughs> Oh god, don't one shot me. Where the fuck is my dog? It's supposed to be covering me from shit like this. Oh, that ladle was too much to pick up. The ladle's what put me over the edge. I'm gonna drop this coffee cup. Is, uh. Is that enough to walk normally? No. <laughs> I'm gonna drop this can. Oh, now I can walk full speed. Now I can sprint if I need to. That can was really weighing me down, that empty tin can. <laughs> Ooh, aluminium can. I'll replace, uh... Let me get rid of my ladle. Ah, oh, The freedom of movement you get when you drop one ladle. <laughs> oh, that ammo! So heavy! Alright, what do I drop? Uh, apparel. Sorry, dress. You gotta go. No! And I gotta drop one of the two shotguns I have. Alright, we're going home. That was a nice little trip. I gotta save, though. Hope I don't get... <laughs> Hope I don't get ambushed night. by a single fly, because we all know it'll kick my ass. Oh man, the run through the woods back. It's a good thing nothing's going to happen. <laughs> this looks spooky. Too spooky for me. <laughs> Jesus, I keep sneezing. Zoom height. That's a really good gif. <laughs> I know. All right. Now to go back to my bed. And I'll sleep. Is Tadbot still out? Yeah, Hitbot's still busted. One of these houses would be a good place to set up some beds. 
So you'll have to remind people to support me on TAD. It's free. All you need is a phone or tablet, and it makes me get paid. Yes. All right, um, so I had my sleep. Um, what am I doing now? I gotta get more beds for people. Oh, right, and I can plant, uh, mute fruit, which is awesome. Because mute fruit gives people a lot of food. That's also a good gif. Everybody's just on good <laughs> gif day. <laughs> It's a gift war between me and Ash. All right, what do I need to do? Right, beds. You remind me of a young man I used to know. Never looking for trouble, but always finding it. All right, we got lots of steel and cloth for beds now. Let's put a bed in this kitchen. And we'll put some beds in Sean's old room. He doesn't live here anymore. Yeah, fuck Sean. Stupid kid. Stupid asshole kid. Yeah. There, now his, now his room is just a bunch of beds. There's so many beds you can't even reach the other beds. <laughs> there, eight beds. I hope that's enough for you fucking needy assholes. I don't care if there are five of you. You have, you have eight beds now. <laughs> Because, you know, the sleeping bag only lasts, like, a fucking three hours, so. All right, I need to go set up the water. I forgot I didn't set that up on this version. Um, a generator! Is that a picture of New Simpsons? It's from Permaban. the movie, I think. Permaban! <laughs> IP ban! There we go, we're generating water now, which we desperately needed earlier. Let's get another water pump. And another generator. Here we go, we're generating way more water now, which we really need. Now all we need is defenses. So let's get some turrets, because they're pretty cheap to make. Ooh, that's a pretty good gif. Metal finger war. Gif war. <laughs> there we go. Now I need to go talk to Sturgis. I did the whole camp, Sturgis. You better not tell me to go do things I already did. Sturgis, don't make me beat you. Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep. What we need now. Reliable water. Already did it, dumbass. I'm on it. Clean water. Great. I feel did it. Better already. No, we have a reliable. Sure. I hope you don't mind me. Yeah. yeah now you need food. I'll start planting right away. Good deal. Already did it, Dirty. jackass. This place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is. What we need is to get some defenses. Uh, already did it, asshole. Thanks for doing Fuck Sturgis. We'll all sleep better at night. No Leo with a plan oh, says, "Can you make an actual yeah. water pump that you can use to drink clean water?" Yes, I can if I want to. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. Windows too. Mm -hmm. There we go. Completed that quest. Got some experience, and I am a sliver away from leveling. Suck my dick, game. <laughs> Alright, if I make a thing, I think that, uh... If I make basically anything at this point, it'll probably be enough experience to continue. I'm gonna make... Resources, miscellaneous... I want a scavenging station. I want a few of these. To get me free shit. And I leveled! <laughs> Level 6, uh... Level 8 and level 9 are when I can get my next health things. I want armorer. Yeah. 
There we go. So I have armor and science, so I can actually do some serious upgrades to the power armor. Hmm. Wow, I can really up the resistance on these things. Uh, fiber optics and circuitry. I'll take those for search. And crystal. That's rare. Lead. Why not? Uh... Is that nuclear material? Yeah, I'll, I'll take nuclear material. It's probably hard to find. <laughs> yeah. What just happened? I just took damage for being over-encumbered while I was crafting. Are you kidding me? Oh, because I got, like... Nope, never mind. I was going to say because I got, like, tapeworms or something and it lowered my strength. Nope, I'm not over-encumbered. It just said I was hurt me and then forgot. Okay. That's, that's dumb. I am inclined to agree. All right, let's, let's ins put insulated lining in my vault jumpsuit so that I have more energy resistance. Because never hurts to be less likely to die. I really want metal armor. I don't even want to upgrade any of this armor I have. It's, it's garbage. I just want better armor and to upgrade that. I should probably just work on upgrading this power armor for now. If I make a lot of money early on, then I can just use that money to buy fusion cores to keep this thing going. Just need a good circuit of money coming in. So let's just repair this stuff for now. This is pretty basic power armor, so a lot of it just requires uh, steel. <laughs> That's a good one! That's really good! I love That's it. really good! I think you might beat. I can't! I, I can't compete. How do you with beat that, that? You can't I can't! Compete. Fuck! Uh, you can't fuck? That, you just I can't, can't fuck. Nope, just can't do it. You are over encumber. I took damage for it again. I think that's a glitch. I'm gonna go ahead and go save, because I don't feel confident staying around here in glitch town. Matt Ben suggests the best way armor crafting works is that it you put it in your inventory while you're crafting it, so you're always over encumbered while working on power armor because Bethesda can't code. Awesome! That's how it works. So basically what you're telling me is it barely works. Yes. <laughs> Are you surprised? It's wow. Bethesda. Well, it's almost seven. I got a lot of editing to do tonight. So I think I might end the stream here. Thank you everybody for coming in live. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll have a playlist in the description uh, for both my regular Fallout 4 playthrough, as well as the playlist of these streams of this, because I'll be doing more of this. I gotta go get some stuff done, because... Uh, WW2K17 comes out a week from when I'm streaming this, and I'm pumped to play that on the show. So, uh, thank you for showing up live. Support me on TAD, Patreon, GameWisp, and all that other shit if you want to. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye!